Hey everybody, welcome to our channel. Uh, I'm going to do a little something different than RC cars today. Today I'm going to do another passion of mine, which is putting modifications on my Toyota Tundra. Um, modification, modification I bought recently is from 3W Liners. I believe that's the name. If not, I'll get it correct in the description below. But it's a window module for all these trucks. I have the Tundra Low module because my driver window only goes automatically down but not auto up. What this is going to do is let all my windows go auto down and auto up and it'll also let me open and close my windows from my key fob like you see some cars have. So stay tuned and I'll uh, pretty much try to show you a step by step process on how to get this done. So first thing you want to do, pop your hood. Gonna raise it up because you definitely always want to disconnect your battery. Now if you look, I got a little different setup in here in my truck. It's a dual battery setup. I got tired of my battery running dead. So I have this. So I'll actually be running my wire that is needed for the module to the auxiliary battery on one of these auxiliary posts right here. So I'm gonna do this and then I'll get back to you. All right, so I'm not going to show you how I'm running this wire into the cabin. It's one of the things I least like doing. I hate it. But um, I will show you just in case you don't know. You can see down in there, there's a bundle of wires going into a grommet in the firewall. And that's where I plan on running it. If anything changes from there, I will show you or I'll let you know. Where I ended up running it if it changes, but as of now, that's where it's going to be going. Um, like I said, I'm not going to show that on camera because it's probably going to take me a minute because I always struggle for some reason doing that. Um, but so, next thing I'm going to do basically after you get that wire ran, I'm going to get this door panel. You got to get this door panel popped off, all right? So, this little plastic cover in here, you're going to pop it off. And then down in here, take this little mat out. There's a screw there, a screw here. You're going to pop this piece off, pop that button off. And this whole thing will just pop out around the bottoms and sides and then slide up and off. So stay tuned and I'll get this door panel off. Oh, I also forgot. You got to pop this whole panel off right here before you take the door panel off um, so this comes off this this screws the little pin right there this top corner piece then this whole thing will pop off all right so like I said before this panel piece comes off when you take this off there's a yellow clip on this piece and a white clip on this piece all right so you want to be very careful that you don't break them as you can tell this white piece from mine stuck. Stay in the truck, you just squeeze it, pull it out. And you're gonna wanna put it back. You're gonna wanna put it right back on. That way you don't lose it. As I said before, let me see if you can get, oh, there you go. Pop this little cover off right here. The girl that's inside there. Just use the little flathead, barely pull on it, pops off. Take the screw out. You can see the screws out. A little carpet piece that's in here. Pop that off, and there's another screw in there. And also, this guy. Pry it out pretty gently. Comes out pretty easy. And then you're going to unplug that plug and set this to the side. Once you pop this, get those off, you pop it all around the bottom, just pull out, and then the whole thing panel slides up. You got your uh, door lock and door open wires. Let me see if I can do this. Right there. I'm just gonna unhook it. Turn ball, turn it around. And then the little balls will come out. And then this door panel will come off. And that's what you're left with. Okay? Stay tuned, and I'll tell you the next step. So once you get the door panel off, 
you want to remove the speaker on your door disconnect it I just set my speaker over here to the side because um, you want to access this grommet in here where these wires go through because it runs so we're gonna run your one power wire into your cap through this little grommet right there so we're gonna do that um, here's a connector from the connect uh, the uh, window switches and then we'll also be disconnecting this connector as well um, so stay tuned and once I get all this hooked up and everything I'll get back to you here's what I got so far all right disconnected that connector plugged it into the T harness right here and then plug the harness in right now I got this tied up with some uh, little bread tie looking things that came with the wiring just for now so I can clean all this up so it comes over here here's the module I'm gonna try to see if I can mount it right there see if that works um, and the video doesn't really explain it too well um, so I still have to hook up this connector into this T harness and then that connector goes into the controller so the red wire that you got to run to your batteries and this is for the, t t the tundras that have auto down but not auto up driver side windows so I ran that red wire through that grommet right here I just took it back behind the speaker I popped hold on one second I popped this grommet out okay and I popped this grommet out down here right here just so I can get those grommets in have a straight shot basically with a hanger put the wire the hanger through take the wire to it pull it back through it comes up you're not gonna be able to see this that great but it comes up and out the hole right there hopefully you can see that you gonna have it run up to the ground going to the engine firewall just like I said we would it comes out from there and then it's running up and I'm gonna run it here now these things came with the ends right here came with these rubber these rubber ends um, yeah right here I'm gonna take that off um, and I'm going to put hook it up and then put heat shrink over it I don't really like those rubber ends right there I like it to be heat shrimp and um, more sealed up from any moisture and weather. Um, so that's where I'm at now. Took me a minute to figure that out. And I also ripped out some wiring from an older light project that I used to have on the truck. Took the lights off, capped the wires off. I never pulled them out, but I went ahead and decided to pull up all that wiring out too. So kind of doing a two for right now but I'm not gonna film any of the other stuff just because it has nothing to do with this awesome project so uh, where I'm at now is I'm going to finish getting this wire ran in the engine bay um, not really gonna show you how I do it it's not you know you just do it how you like what makes it what makes you happy as you run it um, and then I'm gonna get the door panel get the speaker put back on over here the door panel try to figure out this module where I'm gonna mount it and then when that's all said and done should be good to go to test it out and see how it works stay tuned hit up the creator the maker of these who is awesome I and mean, you hit him up on the messenger and he messaged you back pretty soon because I was asking him where this thing goes yeah, and he had it set about right around this area on his door panel so what I'm gonna do which I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it is I'm gonna get my door panel over here and find an open spot for it I'm gonna use the double side tape that comes with it stick it to this and stick it to the actual door panel itself if I ever have to take it off again just disconnect this connector here no big deal so I'm gonna do that for that I got the speaker put back in like I said all this is going on so I have to get all this wiring 
either zip tied or I'm gonna use electrical tape to hold it up. Might just use electrical tape. That's what the factory uses anyhow. Um, go back around here. So I was telling you about for that connector, pushing them together. Use some heat shrink. Got a good waterproof seal on it. So that's gonna be good. We'll hook that up when everything's done. Still gotta finish running that wire. Um, but yeah, so far that is it. Um, you, this connector you're gonna hook up last. Once you get the door panel on, you're gonna hook that up okay. to your switch control panel right there. So that's gonna be the very last after you get the door panel on. I will start the recording again because I'm doing this uh, pretty much by myself. So I will start the recording up again once you get the door panel on and I'll show you about on the outside of the door panel right behind where I mount this box. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. Alright, so just real quick, uh, use the electrical tape I had right here just in a few spots to tidy up the wiring make it look as professional as possible. This wire here, I'm just gonna leave it. it ain't gonna hurt nothing sitting there like that. So this should be about, I can move this anywhere I need uh, on the door panel. My neighbor, Andy, he's right here. He's going to be helping me with this. Unfortunately, like I said, not gonna be able to get it on camera, but um, what I will do is once I get it mounted to the door panel and it's on, like I said before, I'll show you exactly what spot I mounted it to. Okay, here's the double side tape that's on it, it's Velcro. So like I said, when you take the door panel off, you can either disconnect that connector or just pull the Velcro off. I'll probably disconnect the connector, not try to pull the tape off or anything like that. And we'll see how that goes. But once I do this, I mean, unless there's an issue with it, there'll be no reason for me to pull this door panel off ever again really so stay tuned and i'll get back to you here we are door panels back on everything's hooked up all right door locks make sure you hook those guys back up right if you swap them no big deal you just pull the door panel off and do it again but uh no big deal all right so anyhow what i ended up doing was not putting the control module on the door panel itself because there's no really good flat surfaces um, but the plastic that you'll see behind the door panel that you saw earlier in the video you can place it about right here and it's plastic and then behind it is a solid metal sheet okay so about right here stick it to that plastic and it's solid man you put the door on it you're good it holds it good punch nothing driving around nothing nothing of the sorts so uh yeah stay tuned i uh, got that screw back in got that screw back in this push button right here i'll show you let me get it ready hold on all right so this push button right here can i get that guy in the hole pop her in that's in like I said earlier, this clips, make sure you have them out. Clips right in, easy day. And then, hey, do you wanna hold this real quick? Just point it down right here. Then this last piece, just open up the door panel a little bit and snap it back in. That piece is in, good to go your little cardboard piece of whatever whatever that is carpet back down the hole what I did is I zip tied it I ran it up I have the amp power steps I ran through one of those zip ties for it zip tie along one of the main wire harnesses and then hook it up to the positive side of my auxiliary battery over here um, so no matter what when these work, they'll only pull juice from my auxiliary battery. Will not pull juice from 
my cranking battery. Um, if y'all are interested in what this is, just put it in the comments below and I'll do a video talking about this uh, dual battery setup. Super nice, had it for about a year now and it's amazing. But yeah, so we're about to uh, get everything set up and we'll test it out and see what happens. Stay tuned. All right, so I got two key files. This one is my remote start. This one is my factory just with, um, oh man, I can't remember the company's name. But he makes a lot of cool stuff for Toyotas. Yeah, AJT Designs. This is his little key fob that you can get, which is awesome. Got a lot of his stuff in my truck. Uh, so when I was first testing it out, my remote start one was not working. And then it, I started recording. To so I started recording to do the op check and uh, it worked, so we'll try it again. So we'll go lock. So that was unlock, lock, unlock. And the windows, as you see, are going down. So the front ones go down first, and the rear ones. Makes sense. If the truck's off, you don't want all four window motors pulling off of one battery. Uh, so that's it. They're opened up. It works with your remote your remote start key fob so you do not have to use your factory then to lock it back after that we'll hit it once and they start to go back up all right so it works and it's wonderful uh I tell you it's solid money for what you spend on the kit. Uh, I think it's about $95 right now for the Tundra kit. I think I saw a RAV4, Toyota RAV4 kit, which my mom has right here. It's 2019, if it'll work for it, I may end up buying it for her and installing it before she goes back home. Um, yeah, it's a good kit, money well spent. 99 bucks the brand new toyotas they do have that if you have like a limited toyota uh you can do that and you can remote start your car from your cell phone but then you're talking spending fifty thousand dollars not everybody wants to spend fifty thousand dollars on a truck sometimes you just want it for the capabilities and uh you can spend way less get the same exact capabilities off-road wise four-wheel drive wise you know what i mean tone capacity wise all that stuff so for all you guys out there that have you know sr5s uh trd off-roads trd pros like mine um any tundra that does not have this capability with the new cell phone app that you know the 2019s and 2020s have uh this is a good buy uh, just look down in the link in the subscription below or this yeah description below and easy easy mod well worth it uh, 3w liners not sure what your actual name is man but uh you hit it man this is perfect this is what i've been wanting for years so glad i ran into you uh, thanks for the awesome product keep them coming look forward to doing business with you in the future